I don't know about you, but I'm tired of juggling multiple, multiple little NVMe enclosures like this that are potentially slow. I have to have multiple drives and multiple enclosures for all my different storage, and they don't support things like RAID. Well, let me tell you, this product right here, this is the quad drive from RAID and Digit. This one is on a Kickstarter right now. It's just about to end. By the time this video goes live, I think it will actually end right after this, so you'll be able to just buy it. Uh, this one here is the quad drive, as you can see there. It is a cute little thing that kind of looks like a little DVD type device. What is it though? It's a USB 4, so 40 gigabit per second, 40 gigabyte per second, right there, powered with power delivery. I'm gonna do my typical unboxing and first look type thing, but I've already done the review. I just wanted to loop back and just kind of do a proper intro because this thing is super freaking cool. We can see here that it does have some fans built in, so it does have cooling. This one here is an engineering sample. It's not the final product, so it's not gonna be absolutely perfect with all the fit and finish of the product you will get when you buy it, uh, but this is the engineering sample they sent me to review. So what's cool about it? Four NVMe slots in this one here. So, I mean, you can just hook it up to your computer. You can run them individually. When you run them individually, uh, one, two, three, four separate drives, they're gonna run at about 20 gigabyte per second speeds, give you around 1,600 in terms of transfers. You can then run them in RAID. You can run them in a mirrored RAID. You can run them in a striped RAID, RAID zero, whatever, which would potentially increase the performance or keep it the same, depending. If you go for a mirrored RAID, you're gonna get, if you go for RAID zero, it's supposed to increase the speeds up to 3,000, a little over 3,000 megabytes a second. Uh, Depends how you want to do them. If you need data redundancy, that's going to be very important. You can go RAID 0, RAID 10, whatever it is that you need. That'll give you data redundancy. So say, for example, you have something like these two drives mirrored, these two drives mirrored, or something, however you want to set it up. If one of them dies, so let's say this one dies here, but you have a mirror drive, for example, this one over here, that's okay because when this drive dies, you have all your data mirrored over there, so you're not going to lose anything. That's a huge advantage for people like Mac users because Mac storage is crazy expensive, just actually crazy expensive. And a lot of the time these external enclosures don't support RAID, so you're gonna have an issue with data redundancy, potentially having multiple drives. You're just gonna have multiple external products that you're gonna be plugging into the Mac to make sure things are protected. Here you don't have that issue because you can do RAID on these. Temporary supply unit, engineering sample. There might just be slight differences in design and you know fit and finish and that that they're gonna put into it obviously again another big chunk of metal there you could there's some s and in there you could slap some thermal pads on there for uh active for passive cooling so that those will touch here and you'll get passive cooling into that however um i might not do that in this rare case because these are going to blow air over there and i feel like having a pad on there which will cool you know cool them into here and not get the active cooling over there we can try both but okay i decided to switch over to windows because i don't know what the heck i'm doing half the time in mac that's fine so here it is i just plugged it in uh it was so fast that i wasn't able to catch it we have our drives here online 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 uh they're set up as i don't know maybe some kind of raid or something by default this is just how they sent it to me uh but let's do this let's go my way so we're gonna go and convert to dynamic disk so they're not in raid okay so let's let's set them up just whatever this is when you buy them they're probably not going to come with nvme so at least i don't think so go like that okay that's that very good i don't have any data on them so let's put some data on i mean this is probably just going to work Okay, this isn't a test of the actual SSDs. I mean, we know what the SN740 can do. I was just kind of seeing if they would disconnect, but they are not disconnecting. And then we're gonna move between the SSDs, see how fast those goes. We'll do some synthetic benchmarks as well because real benchmarks versus synthetic are never the same. So there's one, two, three, four of them. Uh, this one is obviously being used right now. So that's gonna be the first one. That's fine. Temperature on that first one. You can see the difference, 2843. Uh, let's zoom in here a little bit so we can see the temperature difference the ones that are not in use are just hanging out nice and cool very cold 28 and 42 it's fine that's the one that's being written to and it's 45 67 42 which is also fine i think ssds you want to be under 75 or 80 degrees i think is kind of where you want to be at uh, so it's fine it's 
getting getting pretty full. These aren't very big SSDs, uh, but the enclosure is fine. Right. It's going to be half full, no problem. Whatever leg there is there is going to be the SSD itself, not the enclosure. Just running out of cash. Now this is the USB 4 to the computer. I don't know if each drive is capable of doing USB 4 speeds. Uh, next thing we're going to do is just move some data over onto the drive and then we'll do a transfer between the drives. So we'll go like that. So the one being used here, we can see it's going at about 1000 megabytes a second or so, is the second one, SN1, SN2. So we'll come back up here, SN1, SN2. Temperatures are all looking pretty good, like 3141, 3143. This is the one that's in use right now, 4365, that's fine. Uh, SSDs, when they're in like a heavy write, you really don't want to be, I think 80, 75 or 80 degrees is like danger zone. SSDs will just struggle if, if they need to. Um, so they shouldn't have any issues there. I'm putting them into a spanned RAID. Spanned meaning they're not mirrored. It's not going to be like RAID 0 where it's that's a clone of that, clone of that, clone of that. So if the data dies, it's going to be copied onto the next one. We're going spanned RAID which basically means that uh, they're all going to be combined into one mega NVMe, all drive E, so 256, well, whatever, close enough. They're all going to combine into approximately one terabyte, so we're going to call that that. We're going to go back to X, uh, NTF, NTFS because it's uh, RAID, has to be in that, quick format, whatever, go like that, go like that. Boom, 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 boom. So I just close that, and here we go. Done. Now I have turned those four NDMEs, one, two, three, four, in the enclosure into one span volume. So there's four NDMEs that are combined. So imagine if you did this with a two terabyte, two, four, six, eight, or you did it with a four terabyte, four, eight, 12, 16, or you did it with an eight terabyte. So there's lots of ways you could do this. You could also put them in redundancy RAID, like RAID 0, volume, uh, disk, four, disk 2 decides to die, whatever. It doesn't matter because I have backups. Okay, final test uh, is Mac test. Now it's on its hot plate. The Mac is here, it's cooking. I'm warming it up. Even though it doesn't really get that warm, it just looks like a little hot plate, it's kind of cool. Okay, so that connects on there, that just looks neat. And that's that connected there. Let's see what we got. So we have the SN740, which was that in? Maybe I did put it in NTFS, I wasn't paying attention. It's fine. Uh, this is XFAT though. I think I messed that one up and I put it into NTFS by accident. That's fine. Uh, this one here is in XFAT. You can see it's working. XFAT, XFAT, all looking good. So we can play around with them, I suppose. We can go like that, we can go uh, erase, and then we can make you also X fat. We'll call you X fat. So that's APFS. So APFS, these are all X fat, so they work on all of them. Magic disk benchmark. I don't know. I haven't used it yet. So we're going to come out here. We're going to kill off. Uh, that's a really bad, unfortunate light angle there, but that's okay. So let's test them out here. So we have different speeds. Uh, that was APFS, whatever, and these three are XFAT. So new volume, or um, untitled is Mac, uh, okay, is the Mac proprietary format. That one there. Yep, it's exactly the same as Windows. So uh, the whole device runs at 40 gigabyte per second, USB 4, and then typically, this is very normal, all of the four are going to be split up. It's marginally slower to write. Uh, let's try Samsung test, grant permission, Samsung test, Samsung test, Samsung test. Basically the same. Like that, should be about the same as that more or less. Close enough. And yeah, actually it was a tiny bit faster. It doesn't matter. Okay, so that's that. Let's take it back and talk about it. So what do I think about it? Quad drive. It's Fantastic. This is just an engineering sample, so we'll see what they do with the final product, how they tweak it, but it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's a nice, sleek little package. You can set it under your Mac Mini, and it looks cool. USB 4 connector, so it's nice and fast. All metal, so you get passive cooling. It's very rugged. 
active cooling as well with those two fans that are going to blow air over, keep them cool. And you get quart four or quad NVMe's inside, which is a no brainer because I'm so tired of using singles. It drives me freaking crazy. Uh, and they support RAID. And it works exactly as it's supposed to. So uh, let's not ramble on more. I think if you were looking for what this product offers, you should buy it, period. You should buy it, period. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It supports RAID, it supports four drives, and they're fast and it works. That's the review. Good product.